South Korea's most wanted man, a church leader and businessman, whom prosecutors were hoping to arrest in connection with the April ferry disaster that killed more than 300 people, has been found dead, the police said on Tuesday. The body found more than a month ago in a South Korean plum orchard has been identified by authorities as that of a businessman who headed the family that owned the operator of a ferry that capsized in April, killing more than 300 people. Police told reporters on Tuesday that DNA and fingerprint evidence from the body found on June 12 in the south of the country showed it to be that of Yoo Byung-un, the target of South Korea's largest manhunt for more than two months. The man, Yu byung yun had been the target of the country's largest manhunt ever, since a court issued an arrest warrant for him in May on charges of embezzlement, breach of trust and tax evasion. Prosecutors sought to arrest him as one of those who had contributed to the sinking of the 6,825-ton ferry swole. The ferry capsized off southwestern South Korea on April 16, after making a sharp turn. So far, 294 people have been found dead, with 10 missing and believed dead. Most of the victims were high school students on a holiday trip to the southern island of Jeju. The ship's crew repeatedly told passengers to stay inside the ship even as it was slowly sinking, according to investigators and survivors. Investigators said the ship was carrying twice as much cargo as it was allowed, with not enough ballast water at its bottom to keep the ship stable. They accused the ferry company's management of colluding with dock workers and shipping regulators so it could routinely overload the ship to generate profits. The Swole S-15 surviving crew members, including the captain, are on trial on charges ranging from homicide to negligence. Police said toxicology tests were underway and that the death did not appear to have been caused by foul play.